Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rogers Kakasungura YouTube channel. I want to thank each and every one of you who is supporting us, especially my number one fan. You know, I have monitored your comments, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I have known people who can't miss to comment. Mm, Rosemary, Anajita Rosemary. I don't know which country you come from. Uh, <laughs> But then you 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 are always on time. I applaud you. Pa comment iko pale. May God bless you and others. Akina somebody muyech eh muyech eh okay. Uh, keep subscribing and you if you haven't subscribed in in days to come I, I will master your names eh those who regularly comment in few days to come I I will master your names and I will I'll mention you here one by one. If you have not subscribed and you are watching this video, kindly do the necessary. Press the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Now, back to the Kenyan politics. Um, everyone in this um, world wants somebody he can trust. If you are a husband, you want a wife you can trust. If you are a wife, you need a husband you can trust. If you are a father, you need a son or daughter you can trust. And this has happened across even in the career world where if you are a boss, you want someone a junior you can trust. This one goes into politics. A politician wants someone he can trust. By Raila Odinga picking Mother Karua, it tells us that Raila trusts Mother Karua more than anyone else to deputize him. On the other hand, William Ruto picked the regarding Gashawa. And that tells us that in William Ruto's circle, he fully trusts Rigadi Gashawa. But then, ladies and gentlemen, my work in this platform is to weigh. You look at what they say, you look at what this one says, we bring them together and form an assumption which looks like a reality. You know, what we do here is we just make an assumption. We guess what might happen next. I have been keenly following the sentiments by the deputy president, the incoming deputy president, if at all that government will be formed, Rigadi Gashawa. When I was looking at Rigadi Gashawa's profile, I came to realize is a university material from what I saw. Yes, a degree. That tells me that the regard is somebody who has studied and understands what he says. Unless and otherwise, there's someone we're being lied to. The recent sentiment since regard the Gashawa was appointed has kept me thinking if we indeed regard this out to support Ruto or to kill him. I've been looking at one or two, three sentiments made in public and in some interviews. And I've kept thinking, ah, really? Is this guy out to support Ruto? Or this guy is out to politically assassinate William Ruto in Mount Kenya? Huh? You know, Rigadi Gashawa was hosted in one of the local radio stations. That speaks in Kikuyu. That is in Oro. And he made some sentiments that up to now, I'm trying to understand if indeed this guy is out to support the presidency of Dr. William Ruto. He said that, you know, when Deputy President appointed me as Rigad Gashawa, Mount Kenya broke into pieces. Really? You know? Someone who is looking votes to support the deputy president is saying that when Ruto appointed me, Mount Kenya split into pieces. Hi! Guy! A whole deputy president. Hey! You know, we expected that. I personally expected that Rigatia could proudly say that, you know, um, when Ruth appointed me as um, the deputy president, 
Mount Kenya is now more united than before. That is the statement I expected. But when Rigathi is speaking in Igekoyo and telling the Gikuyu that, uh, you know, when Ruta pointed me, Mount Kenya is like Hi! Hey! What kind of uh, statements are these? So in Amanisha that Ruto kukuleta katika timu yake umelawanya kurazake Mount Kenya. Oh. As if that was not enough. You know, we know Kenya Kwanza as people who understand the economy. We, we know Kenya Kwanza as people who are doctors of economy. Because they say our work is bottom-up economy. So we expect that these are experts who brag that they will be revising the Kenya's economy. These are the people who brag that once they take power, Kenya's economy will be given birth to afresh. Rigati says, Ati, when we will take over as government, as Kenya Kwanza government, we will close down Safaricom. What? Hey! Ati, we will close down the Kenya Airways. Guy! Chineke mamba. Hey! Rigadi. So, is, is, was Rigadi painting Ruta as a person who will be closing other people's businesses if he takes power in favor of, you know? So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm asking you to help me think also. If I'm thinking wrong, please correct me. I, I'm critically thinking, you know? And this is my personal opinion as Rogers Kakasungura. A whole DP, a whole incoming DP telling Kenyans that you know when we assume power, the big companies owned by Mabwenyenyes to Tazifunga. So does it mean that is Rikatika Shawa building Ruto? Or demolishing William Ruto. You know, I have failed to understand. You can also help me understand these sentiments. This idea to kuelewa these sentiments. You know? As if that was not enough. So, Leo, kuelewa majana. Hamesimama tena. Hamesema kwamba, you know? Uh, once I take power, Mimi, in 90 days, he cast your police in Tarakabisha. That is the reality of the show. Wow, what do you want to say? They are mouthpieces out there like Malala. Wana sema kwamba askari ni watu ambao hawaja soma. They are stupid and dunderheads. You know, I'm like, you know. My own, my own view, I don't know if this will come to pass, but then let me speculate. I don't know if it will come to pass, but then let me speculate. Media doesn't forget. You will also keep this video for reverence. My own thinking is Rigadi is on a mission to finish Ruto. Mm. Rigadi Gashawa is on a mission to finish Ruto. Yes. How are what to? You cannot trust them. You saw on live TV recently, on live television, on Citizen TV, Moses Kuria said, we will only be safe on Mother Karua's hands as the deputy president. Ni vile citizen wana pika copyright. Ni ngeweka yu kilipu hapa. Ni vile citizen wana ukeka kilipu yao wana kutandika copyright. Ni ngeweka yu kilipu hapa. Moses Kuria, akisema. Hmm. He said, we will only be safe on Mother Karua's hands. Eh, that is Moses Kuri. Uh, my own thinking is these guys are out to completely finish William Ruto. Especially Ricardo Gashawa is out to finish Ruto. I don't know if Ruto has called Ricardo Gashawa to ask him on what he makes. You know, we are two months to an election, but the statements Rigat has made in one week are, are killing and, uh, you know, 
bombshells, bullets. Hmm? Wiki moja tu and Ricardo Garcia was painted Ruto like something else. He has painted Ruto as somebody who will close businesses once he takes power. You know? He has painted Ruto as someone who will be a dictator once he takes power, you know? That's how he's painting Ruto. That's how you live in Kenya. Who you want to ako hapa kujenga Ruto ama kubomoa Ruto? Unaona Raila yeye amewachia Martha Karua Mount Kenya. Amemwachia. But Ruto can never dare to send Ricardo Gachagua to campaign alone. Why? My own this is as good as yours. Ruto doesn't even trust Ricardo Gachagua alone. Najua kuna yule rafiki ambaye hawezi kumwacha kwa ofisi peke yake kwa sababu unajua ni mwizi. Ruto cannot trust Ricardo Gachagua to go and campaign for him in Mount Kenya. He can't. Kama Ricardo Gachagua anaenda Mount Kenya, Ruto must be there. Unaona Martha Karua yeye anafanya campaign alone without even Raila, without Uhuru Kenyatta. Alone. But Ricardo can't. Ruto can't trust him anymore. He cannot. I don't know what qualifications that Ruto was looking at when he appointed Rigadi. Some have said it's money. I, I don't know. See, do we? I can't substantiate because I was. I've never been to Karen and I can't tell. I don't even know how much Rigadi makes in a month. Some have said it's money because Rigadi is muscled financially. But I don't know. And to me, Ricardo Gashawa was the wrongest choice that Ruto made. And I'm telling you, the two months remaining ahead here, it will be messy and will have casualties. If they can't be careful, the way I'm seeing things are running, the way I see Ricardo responding to questions, the way I see he's walking into media houses to speak, and whatever he speaks, is killing the Kenya Kwanza nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the two months remaining in campaigns and politics. Oh, to Taona Vituko. More is yet to happen. My punchline. Finally, Rigadi Gashawa is out to finish Ruto completely from Mount Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. May God bless you. Keep sharing. And if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this video, kindly click the subscriber button and remember to turn on the notification bell so that when I upload a video, you are able to get it immediately. May God bless you. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. May God bless you.